when I, when I look at at sort of millennial and Z, one of the thing, and again, not to over stereotype generations, but I'm wondering how do you have that authenticity that you're talking about? The the interest in look, I've been sold all day long, and everybody's trying to get me to buy something, and everybody's got a pitch. I want authenticity. So, so on one hand, when you come and you tell me about sin and creator creature distinction and you talk about uh the brokenness of creation and and so forth i'm i may not like it but you're authentic you're not smiling uh you know waving your bible around around saying you'll have your best life now mm-hmm. on the other hand i don't like it and so I'm not going to accept if, if, if I don't like it. Well, are you going to investigate it? No, I'm not, I don't need to investigate it. I know intuitively mm-hmm. in my own little uh, heart of hearts that that's not true. So <laughs> how, do you, how do you negotiate? Obviously, you're not the Holy Spirit. But just in terms of presenting the message and walking alongside people, how do you, how do you get them to see that they say they want authenticity, but aren't always willing to accept it when it comes to them from outside themselves. Uh, well, you know, one of the things I was just, as you were talking there, Mike, thinking about how important it is for us to help each other, and especially the younger generation, see that Jesus is trustworthy, that, that he can be believed, because we, we have this sort of allergy against authority. And so because we have this allergy against authority, anything that we hear, I mean, it, with the scandals that you hear about in yeah, church, for good I, just, I just don't trust yeah. authority. Mm-hmm. And so we want to convince people and help people to see that, man, Jesus is really trustworthy. Mm-hmm. He actually laid down his life for you. And so I think part of it is that, is wanting to present this full picture of the gospel where we're showing people the extent to which Christ has gone to love and to serve them mm-hmm. so that he's he's believable in, in, in that, you know, he's not like the, he's not like the scandals that you're hearing about. Mm-hmm. At least that's, that's one of my approaches. Derek, I'd love to hear what you, I, I love, actually that's, that's my go-to is just Jesus. It, it sounds very cheesy, <laughs> but um, yeah. And the other, the other way of kind of putting that is, do you, do you trust yourself more than Jesus? Mm-hmm. I mean, cause realize you can sell yourself, yeah. right? You, you, isn't it very convenient that, you're rejecting that portion of the law that makes your Saturday night activities uh, a lot easier to stomach, a lot easier to, to, to say, no, no, this is totally fine. And just, just getting people to question some of their own motives Is sometimes. that authentic? Yeah, is yeah. that, uh, are, are you selling yourself? Do you, do you know better than what, you're, than what you're doing right now? That's not the whole of it, but, um, but usually starting with Jesus and then getting uh, us to kind of question ourselves from time to time. You know, what am I assuming? Uh, what's, what assumption is under this objection? Um, and is that, is that authentic or, mm-hmm. or, is, that, or is that self-serving mm-hmm. in some way? And, uh, and usually you start pulling on that thread long enough, um, you'll, you'll, hit, you'll hit something. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's, that's one thing that really Adrian So had. if you're going to talk about authority, talk about authority in the context of the 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 king of kings and lord of lords who shows his authority by dying on a cross mm-hmm. and carrying your sins as far as the east is from the west. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and ruling he, your life too. Yeah, I mean he asks you to carry nothing heavier than he carried for you. Right? He that the cross, the cross is the cross you're carrying is always going to be uh, lighter, <laughs> a lighter yoke than the one he carried on your behalf. When I'm he not had carrying it no for my re- sins. Exactly, no. exactly. Uh, uh, you know, so he's proved himself mm. over and over again. 